welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic Random Stuff haul. I was going to call it a review, but in some ways my hauls are kind of reviews. I don't know. So some of these things were sort of trade-offs to a Christmas gift and some things I got at the will since it was conveniently on my way to someplace else. <clears throat> so <laughs> the first part is stuff that Mother traded off for a Christmas gift she gave me. She gave me and my sister both the same thing. And <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm about as low low maintenance as you can get, really. So she gave me this, like, turban type of thing, but I haven't worn a towel on my head since forever. I usually just pin up my hair and sort of let it air dry. Of course, then again, you, the bath towels are like, you have to, like, weigh the thing, and it's <laughs> So it's still in the wash, to be washed. And the other thing she gave me, among other stuff, was those, f <laughs> I guess they're like sanders for your feet. I know. <laughs> I've seen them in stores and I've seen them, like, people's feet are really that dry. You have to, like, sand them down. <laughs> and I'm, like, looking at this thing, like, I have the opposite problem. Okay, my feet are too soft in some ways. So I'm like, well, whatever. And she's like, oh, yeah. It was so I told her, it's like, some, you know, it came up. It's like, well, I can't use this. And she asked me, well, can you use that? And I'm like, well, not really, because I never had this problem. <laughs> I am too soft and supple. So she's like, well, okay, fine. You know, you can give it back, and then I'll give you other, something else instead. It's like, you know, it just seemed, I was just going to toss it underneath the sink. It's like, well, maybe somebody could use it someday. It's like, well, he, she, you know, if you give it back to her, she can give it to Marcy. So <laughs> instead of that, she gave me stuff from the well, which is much more appropriate, actually. But then these things are so me anyway. And the first thing she gave me, I guess these are supposed to be like covers for like um, the Yankee candles, like corks or tops for them. Th there's no like sticker or anything left unless you peel the whole thing off. But it's cute just to stand there. And I just like the expression on the cat. Come on. <laughs> Why the kitty is wearing a sweater, I do not know. But yeah, that that's just too dang cute. So... Not quite sure where to... I've got to clean out that part, so you should probably go there. Could, you're too big for there. <laughs> so, I didn't actually see this. If I did, I walked... Nope, I think I did see it. And I think it did go on a candle, because it smells pumpkin-y. Scratch and sniff pumpkins? Mm. <laughs> it smells like that, that candle I want in uh, Dunkin' Donuts that was left over from Thanksgiving that the harvest... The pumpkin spice candle Dunkin' Donuts has. I have to, every time I go to Dunkin' Donuts, I have to sniff my candle. Cause I love that candle, but I'm not paying 13 bucks for the candle. I don't know if I have to pay five for the culotta. <laughs> it's like drink and dessert, so it's like, you know. Hmm. So yes, that is very cute. Turn you off. Hmm. Okay. In the next thing she got, I did see. I picked up twice debating, mm, I don't know if I like it or not. I, I liked the bat part. I'll keep on picking up here. But the eyeballs, kind of like, why is this thing gonna... <laughs> I just didn't like the beads part of it. Though I suppose I could crush the beads. The, they're only seeds, the E instead of the E beads, I think they're called. So it's like, one, one design element they didn't really need. <laughs> and it's a tea light holder, so I've yet to try it out for myself, but Mother... Mother likes the fake tea lights, so I invest in the real ones, and it supposedly did lovely patterns. So, <laughs> I guess it was meant to be mine, because we all know how much I love bats. <laughs> bats are so pretty. So, <sighs> I, I still have, I still don't like them. <laughs> I think I'm just going to crush those, because, eh. So, I have absolutely no idea where this thing came from, other than from China. Didn't even think to look when I picked it up originally. I think it was like, three bucks or something like that. I don't remember. But <laughs> it still somehow ended in my house. <laughs> Even after being denied twice. And the third thing was kind of like, yeah. I kind of like the thing that is in the will now. It's more of like a haunted house. But she, I don't remember seeing this one at all. It's Frankenstein. Though it is cute though. I mean, it's just, I prefer the house over Frankie here. And you got your raven and your pumpkins. But he's a happy Frankie. But it, it's 
it's kind of pointless because <laughs> it's another candle holder thing. Ouch. But even in night, you, you don't, it, it, it doesn't show up anything. But then I put a tea light in. Maybe if I put like a votive, it'd give you a little more light. So it's more like a lantern type of thing. But it doesn't do much of anything really. <laughs> it doesn't even really give off the light in front of the doodahs. So I have a Frankenstein I'm not quite sure what to do with. <laughs> but it's a cute decoration. Maybe you'll find a home in the kitchen. There's no room for you in here. No room for you in the kitchen either, but we'll find you a space. So, <laughs> but at least these are a little more, more me than a foot scraper thingy. <clears throat> so that was my replacing Christmas, Christmas stuff. And this is something I kind of sort of stole from Grandma. <laughs> so, and I had not too long ago, which will be in a haul, found a little slot machine that are like sewing needles. You stick pencils in them. They make them sharp. Sharpeners. And we had, we had collected them, well, we, mother, for most of my existence, and grandma had a few. And this was sitting on her table. I don't remember how the hell we got on the subject. Unless I was telling her about what I had got. She's like, oh yeah, there's one like that on the table. And this was behind the stove. Probably since mother was a kid. Because <laughs> it was like a, like a little mantle behind the stove. And she's like, oh yeah, it's a, it's a sewing machine type thing that you make yarn <laughs> one of those things so she's thinking it's like this and i'm like and i'm looking at it like eh, it's not a spinning wheel because it sits like this and a spinning wheel wouldn't be like that and then she's like oh yeah well it's a uh, grindstone like how you would grind axes because this would be the foot pedal you would sit here and you would sharpen your blades on this thing. And I double checked with Ken, who was of the same age. And he's like, yeah, you know, people used to travel around with these things. So this this is a <laughs> ancient grinder. Uh, made in Hong Kong. But there's no like date on it, but it's definitely, you know, <laughs> most likely older than me, because it's literally beyond memory. So she might give me my, the other ones that were floating around. Now that I have a shelf perfect for them which is now kind of going this way because all the weight is on kind of push it to the other side I have to remember kind of alternate where I put them so this was actually part of the family so it's seen better days <laughs> and the stuff I actually purchased now <laughs> why is it when you try not to get wax on things you eventually end up dipping the entire thing in wax. So my little scarf thing here is <laughs> you know, kind of covered in wax now, the big glop there. But there is a way you can kind of do it. If you iron on a paper bag, you can get some of the wax out. So I'll probably have to do that after the holiday. So after hunting for that, I found this to kind of be a backup. So this will be, you know, a table scarf from behind me. But you guys can't see but if I'm standing. <laughs> it looks leopardly. And it's just about the right width, so. I liked it. So it's mostly, <laughs> you know. A backup Christmas holiday table scarf. And then two bucks. And I passed this. And it had to be mine. So I paid like five bucks for it and it's long enough I can wear leggings anybody else screaming Freddy Krueger this is more Freddy than the one that I had way back in the day he's like will you have one like that it's like well yeah but that's more red and gray it's not quite the same but this is actually red and green this is Freddy color <laughs> so I'm like oh yeah this has to be mine and it's medium, oh, there's actually wool in here. 20% wool, made in China from God knows where. So I'm like, I, I, I had to have it. <laughs> now here's my question. Who would win in a fight? Freddy or Wolvie? Snicked. <laughs> so 
So that, that'd be interesting. Where's that rap, epic rap battle of history? Freddy Krueger and Wolverine. Come on, I want to see that. So that, that, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I bet you nobody else in the store was like, hmm. And the next thing I got, I sort of was walking by, and this was actually half off, so I only paid two fifty for it. I wasn't quite sure what she charged me since it's more like a jacket. She kind of looked at it, and she's like, Hmm. But I think, like, the light jackets are $5 anyway. I don't know, because, you know, they try to bleed you for as much as they can. And, of course, it was in my, you know, three favorite colors here, so... <laughs> I had to buy it. And at two fifty, I'm gonna argue. And especially after I keep stealing Ken's hoodie, if it's too cold, you know, I always end up stealing... <laughs> I've gotten more use out of his woolly sweatshirt than, I, than he ever has. So, this came in handy that day, too. I was kind of hoping it would be like an actual hoodie, but it's more of a hoodie jacket. And it's nice and thick, too. It's a nice heavy one. And it said small petite, so I wasn't quite sure, okay, if it would fit, but I tried it on and it fit fine. And I couldn't quite read what the symbol said, and the tag is kind of you know, not quite in English. Mm. I just lost it now. But it's Vulcom, not Vulcan, Vulcom. Vulcan Stone Age. Vulcom Stone Age. I have no idea, but it's a nice, thick, heavy thing in my three favorite colors, silver, red, and black. <laughs> so, oh yeah. And it fit just right. So I get to wear this. It was a stripe day for some strange reason, because I got my Freddy shirt. <laughs> Yeah, everything I got had stripes. I just never... <laughs> Who knew? And I think I was wearing stripes when I bought the stuff. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. So, I was very happy about that. And it's nice deep pockets, too. So, it's always good when, you know, they're like side pockets, but they're deep, so you're less likely to lose stuff. So, I was very happy camper that day. <sighs> now I just gotta find a place but <laughs> thank you for watching do remember to comment rate share and subscribe there's always room for one more at the strange and exotic see you next time bye